Because I wouldn't mind doing the, um, the skin stuff with multiplayer. We just gotta get the right thing. I'm just trying to decide who I want to roll with this at, at this point. Well, they did make a major engineer change, so we're, we're gonna give the engineer a go. Uh, that's not the engineer, this is the engineer. So, pressure mines. Place a two-stage mine that deals 300% damage when an enemy walks by, or 900% uh, if it's allowed to fully arm, and I can place four of them. Okay, I'm gonna just throw this on easy-peasy for the time being. Because we might as well get this done. Okay. Uh, let's see. So what were my upgrades again? Uh, kill a boss in like a short period of seconds. And uh, recruit a lot of friends. Does it have to be at once or just in a singular run? Then again, if we're on easy, it might not be so bad. Yeah, kill a boss in five seconds at the start. That could be an issue. But yeah, let's let's just boombox a wizard for a little while. I wonder if one of the loader upgrades. I wonder if one of the not the loader upgrades, one of the engineer upgrades actually brings back. Let's see, I have no idea if that counts. Uh brings back the homing missile launcher. Yeah, 12 minions to be precise. But does it have to be at once? Like, do they all have to be simultaneously alive? Or do you just have to recruit, recruit 12? Okay, so they all have to be alive. That's fine. And turrets count? So even my, even my, like, the ones that I can just pop down. That's cool. Unfortunately, I don't seem to see any drones here. It just makes this a little awkward. Well, do we give it a go? We're on easy. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be kind of hard to time that, but that's okay. Three. Light poor turrets. At least Engineer seems to have a pretty hardy natural regen I'm looking at. Because I, I don't have healing for biscuits. Give me a neural. That is not a neural. I feel cheated. I'm very passionate about my neurals. If it wasn't immediately obvious. Okay, I'm gonna move my turrets out here. Not a whole lot of things spawning in that other area. And now we wait. Oh, regens because of easy mode. Right, I forgot I, I turned it down. Sorry, brain. I'm gonna take a little bit to, to get used to that change. I too enjoy colossal neurals. If you ever had 12 neurals at once, because if you do, then you know true pleasure. Or at least risk of rain pleasure. Man, that was a hearty run. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, we got that already. Uh, that only lets me choose the next zone, though, so that's not that helpful. I don't think? I'm not sure. Got over 30 neurals in risk of rain one, and it is so satisfying. I have yet to really feel satisfied by the looping in Risk of Rain. We do not make it out of here with a whole lot of items, do we? Probably should have waited around a little bit. Oh well. But yeah, looping in Risk of Rain 1 was a magic experience. Risk of Rain 2 so far has been enjoyable, yes, but... What's up, Shell? It has just like a weird squishy thing. Oh. Makeup, girl stuff. Eee. Do we get. Ooh, feather. I like Hapu feathers. Girly costuming stuff. Okay, well, I don't think I have enough here. Guys can use makeup as well. I know. I'm being pointlessly. 
misogynistic? Is it misogynistic, I guess? To say makeup is for girls? I guess so. Kind of, sort of. I can't use makeup. I'm I'm too warm of a dude. Seashell's making a Star Wars costume, yes? Uh, vaguely. She's, she's getting stuff together so she can cosplay as a Twi'lek from Star Wars, but it's not... Let's see. Yeah, it's not... There's no, like, major rush. I don't think she's, we even have any conventions in mind. I think the next convention we're going to is probably PAX East. Yeah, and she wouldn't bring it to that because that's on the other side of the country and trying to transfer, uh, travel with a cosplay is not very fun. Makeup common is more sexist than misogynistic. I guess. Yeah. No, that's fair. I'm not I, I'm not actually being serious serious about this. I had plenty of friends that like wore makeup when uh when we were in college. I had a lot of I've I've had a lot of uh gay and trans friends over the years, so it's kind of one of those where it's just like we just make fun of it for no reason. But I realize that that can actually be hurtful, so I probably shouldn't. But at me. Yeah. Shell does make a good point. She does use anti-blemish stuff. If I'm going to be on face cam. Personally, though, like, I'm way too sweaty of a dude. So makeup seems like it would be kind of a pointless venture. Also, I... Oh, God. Like, most makeup just makes me feel really uncomfortable when I think about it. Like, eyeshadow. Ah. Uh, Shell... Oh, mascara. Sorry. I get mascara and eyeshadow confused. Um, Both of those sound like they'd be bad because I hate it when anything gets in my eyes. Like, that is that is something I cannot stand. Um, and so, like, I'm perpetually afraid of, like, yeah, having anything around my eyes because it probably wouldn't go great for them. Even even to the point of I don't like putting on sunscreen. Uh, when I was a when I was a kid, at a friend who ended up I think moving to Thailand. Interestingly enough, uh, let's grab the cautious slug. Not that we need it as much here. Do we just? It's really tempting to go stupidly fast here, but that seems like a mistake. Uh, but he invited. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to reach that. That needs some feathers. I've got one. But, uh, we were going to the beach, and so I was putting on sunscreen. And then I made the brilliant decision, uh, the A-plus brain move, of, uh... So after putting on sunscreen, I was like, oh, okay, I should also put in some contacts instead of wearing my glasses at the beach, so I can actually, like, go into the water and stuff and not have to worry about losing my glasses or anything like that. Suffice to say, that was particularly terrible, because then I really couldn't see. I might be able to make that, actually, at this point. Huh, makeup historically was for men. Specifically rich men. Can I make it? Yeah, I can make it. Oop. Those are the newt altars, right? I hope they are. I don't think I've ever gotten that one before. And pink used to be a color for boys, and blue was for girls. Horses are also now a girl thing. So are dresses. Dresses were originally for men. I was kind of surprised when I found that one out. It kind of makes sense, but, like, I just don't feel comfortable unless I'm wearing shorts or pants. I can't imagine... Well, no, I have worn a dress before. It's weird for me. I just don't like the feeling of my legs touching each other. Oops. Hey, didn't actually get hit here. Unfortunately, those do not do as much damage as I'd like them to do, because I'm not a patient person. Ooh. Now, these things do not get the benefit of the leeching seed. Uh, 
let's see, anything else? Nope. Scots created the kilts to hide more knives on them. <laughs> just imagine the first inventor of the kilt just going into a clothier. Yeah, I'm gonna need just a strip of fabric around my waist, uh, some belt loops to keep it up, you know, hide the unmentionables, and enough space to hide about 50 knives. Got it? Got it. Happiest mask. <laughs> I know there's ways that that would make more sense. I actually don't know what this does. Does that just give me a healing specific item? I think it might. I don't remember. Well, I'm gonna grab it anyway. That's cool. Hey, and this bustling fungus. Okay, so we've got greens here. And this is probably gonna be the last thing that I go for. Is there anything amazing that I want? I wonder if those mines would do better if they, like, did a scaling damage the longer that they were out. It was more of a charge up than a trigger. Maybe. Okay, what's this get me? Eh, Runold's band. It's okay. Okay, I don't see anything else around here. So we're diversifying a little bit. I'm not. I'm no longer just fully movement spec, which is good. I'd like to get a use item here, but eh. They're not as interesting in this one as some other games. The use items in, uh. The use items specifically in Children of Morta felt particularly game breaking, which I really, really liked. Okay, anything else? Not really. Looks like I've effectively cleared this place out. Hey. I like those hapu feathers. I like this music. Like, it's similar to the Risk of Rain music, the the original stuff, but a little bit more like guitar-y, which is actually really cool, because it really reminds me of the Tower of Guns soundtrack in like a really, really satisfying manner. Boop, 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 boop. I realize those aren't as good as if I just, uh. Those aren't as good as if I just, um, you know, let them arm. It's really hard to, like, plan for that sort of thing. I want to get back up. That's four for the 12 drones achievement. I would like just drones in general. I'm not, I'm, I'm not super confident about my chances here currently. Because we're not getting bupkis for, for new drones. Okay, can I stand on these? Heck yeah, I can. We Let's see if there's like a visual indicator of when it's armed. Ah, there it is. Come for me, beast creature. Explode upon my mines. Yeah, those do some damage. Well. Don't know if there's anything cool in here, but we might as well grab it. Okay. New shrine. What do we got here? Ooh. I don't have anything that I'm particularly attached to. And this is pretty good. Goodbye, things. So I no longer have my jumps, but that's okay. So we can dream of either of these, but I don't care, because that's that's not actually what I'm looking for. What's up, jerk? What's wrong with your face? 
And I'm gonna be honest, I have next to no idea what any of these things do. Question, could I get another dagger? Would this be worth it? No, it doesn't look like it is. Yeah, that stage select is new, but it's useless for what I'm doing. Uh, at least for this next round. I need it- I need it for the next round. To get the loader. I will admit I do- I do think I like Sacred Acres better. Oh, I'm gonna miss those jumps. At the same time... <laughs> do I just have a Spectral Stabby Arm? I do. So you should have grabbed some glass. I have mixed feelings on glass. Wow, there's a lot of stuff up here. I like the idea of it, but I feel like I'd in inevitably just wreck myself instead. And so I'm not super convinced it's worth it. Holy shit, I need a lot of money. Uh... Hope you know the altar locations here. Uh, no idea. Is that just a bunch of bustling fungus? Alright, going all in. It is fun time. When in doubt, one, tr one trick pony. Okay, there we go. So now if I need healing, I just stand next to my... Uh, stand next to my turrets. They didn't nerf Bustling Fungus, did they? I hope not. Otherwise I'm gonna feel kind of foolish. Oh! Uh... Do I still have to kill things to get that effect? Or do my turrets... Ugh. There's so many things to kind of remember here. Let's see, I should probably just go hang out near my turrets up top. Just kind of let them go. Luckily we have knives. Fungus is still the same. Awesome. Yeah, because there's a there's a silly amount of uh, chests up here that I kind of want to grab. And so I'm just going to camp like crazy. What? Okay, there we go. I was worried for a second I was stuck with one turret and I was like, oh no. Anyway, so now we've got two pretty good on-kill items, which I'm rather happy about. Okay, uh, let's see, any chests up here? No. Some over here, though. Anything else? Oh god, that happiest mask is really creepy. I don't like that. I mean... Obviously, I don't get much of a choice, but it is creepy. Okay. Ooh, use item. And I think that's it for this upper area, so we can actually go back to progressing, kind of. I'll take radar scanner. Oh, boy. There's a lot here. Fuel cell's n nice. What does fuel cell do? Additional equipment charges. Is that... that's more mines, right? I will remember these eventually. Okay, so this is synergizing pretty well. Oh, more radar, more faster. There we go, that's the one.
You'd think I'd remember these things, but there's too many games. There's too many terms, and there's several different things, because there's the, um, there's the backup mag. There's that. Oh, right. There's just the backup mag in the fuel cell. Anything around here on this level? Got the teleporter there. We had something there. There's just so many items, I'm not sure if I want to pop the boss yet. I think that's where the newt, newt thing is. I forget. Oop. There's the backup mag, which is not really that useful. Yeah, this might actually be a really good run to stack. Oh, one equipment. Drone. Yeah, it's worth it. I think the equipment drone just does scans periodically, yeah? Admittedly, kind of a silly use, but still good. Oh, I forgot I had Beetle Guard. Wait. Oh, Happiest Mask. Wait, hold on. Does Happiest Mask count for the extra minions? Because I could see that working out really well for me. Because then I can just kind of have... Minions do work for me. Are you gonna... Yeah, he does have the little equipment there. Uh, can I even make that jump? I, uh, hard to say. Well, we get the BFG. I like me some BFG. A little excessive for just killing that thing, but you know what? Whatever. Okay, what else do we have? We want to get over there, but I don't think I have the jumps. So I think I'm just going to have to... I think I'm just going to have to... Keep looping. But then again, if I want to get the... Uh, if I want to get the boss upgrade... Probably want to keep loop... Uh, boss upgrade. The kill boss in five seconds thing. Probably going to want to... Uh, let's see. Do we... Yeah. We have some friends here. I'm gonna let that go. Let's see, here should be the altar. Uh, here? I thought the uh, newt altar was up up top on them, that thing. Or is it like down on one of these edges? Also, it does not look like my equipment drone is actually equipmenting. Which is, like, uh, unfortunate, but also unsurprising. You wanna do your thing, boy? To the edge of that platform is a spawn. Okay. But yeah, not there. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it up to RNG. I mean, we've got a 50-50 chance of it spawning in, so... It's not that unlikely. Yeah, I'm not... Eh, I might be able to make it from that platform there. But I'm not betting on it. Luckily, it don't take too much damage for falling off the world. At least not in this game. Use some more movement speed. I don't think I see any other items here. There we go. That does a satisfying amount of damage. 
the very least. Okay. I think that's a dead ghost. Yeah, those are dead ghosts. Okay. Yep. Don't think there's much out here. Getting back, though. How the hell do I get back? I guess maybe I jump off one of those. Yeah, there was something up here. No chest, though. Blue? Yep, there it is. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm not going to make that. No way I'm going to make that. But at least we're in the right spot now. Okay, so let's let's get up to that teleporter. I think I went the No, I did go the right way. Okay. Boop, boop. Something is going to walk that way at some point, and then it's going to die. Huh. Yeah, how many landmines can I have out at once? Presumably five? Now, did I get that one? I don't think I got that chest. Oh, we'll loop through this way anyway. Nope, I did get that chest. All right. Anything else? I swear there was like one more that showed up on my radar, but I don't really care. Okay, I think it was down below. Unfortunately, I think the Imp Overlord spawned up above. Oh boy, BFG. Fortunately, nope, he didn't live through it. So I might actually be able to wreck the next boss with the BFGs. I guess get yourself comfy. I've got enough HP regen that pretty much nothing's going to be able to touch me. I think you heard a coin drop. Uh, well, you heard a something drop. What the hell is this? For biting embrace. Become an axe aspect of ice. I, you know, honestly, I'd like to. We'll get another shot at that one. That's a super rare elite drop, son of a butt. Okay, fine, we'll do it. Because I wanted, I wanted the uh, BFG. I want, I want the BFG to wreck a boss, but, oh right, blue portal. It's up above, isn't it? Okay. It's really weak, just super rare. Okay, we're gonna go back to, um... We're gonna go back to the Prion Accelerator. I just... I would like to delete a boss in five seconds. And... Obviously, that's not going to work so hot against the uh, the Imp Overlord, just because the dude doesn't show up immediately. Okay, so where's this portal? Is it up here? Yep, there it is. That's dumb. 
You can double tap the BFG. I was trying. Didn't work earlier. I know you can kind of short succession it, but you can't, like, fire both at the same time. Okay, so between the easy mode and all of the uh, healing I'm currently rolling, what are you? No. And also no. This is the one we want. I dream of wind. At some point I should figure out what all of these do. Because I've never bothered with them. They always seem too circumstantial to actually be useful to me. I'll look them up for you if you want. Eh. Eh. I'll be fine. Fine-ish. Okay, Siren's Call. So we want to look for eggs. Oh! This is bits of the ship. Or at least something. I was like, why does this grass have weird tracks on it? The answer is... Oh. Let's see. So there's a med bot that I can grab. Oh, I found the portal. It's in a really odd spot, though. Ooh, Shrine of the Mountain? Screw it. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. Well, that's pretty good healing, and that's a really good starting influx of cash. Do we have anything here? Yeah, this is really just bits of the ship just draped all over the zone. That's a nice look, though. Okay. Oh, wow. It just kind of keeps going, too. See, what's the pink diamond thing? Increases uh, damage that you take. Uh, or no, increases the amount of damage you do to anything nearby. Which is actually pretty good. Ready? Must have destroyed more eggs than I thought. Oh. They're colliding with each other. Oh, well, I'll grab a med bot at the very least. I missed. Eesh. Don't know if I need to worry about being next to any of those. Well, he's got a shield. But I've got one too. Unless he gets really freaking close. At which point it's meaningless. bad place to be. I mean, luckily it seems pretty dang focused on my turrets. My immortal as shit turrets. Here, can I hang up a, up here? Perfect. 
I'm just gonna be here for a while. Let's go fight my turrets down there, yeah? Cool. Okay. Oh, it healed itself. I guess I'm gonna keep wrecking it. Oh, wait, no. That was just temp health. Probably was shields. Anyway, guidance offline. Defeat the unique guardian of Siren's Call. And we get the loader. Heck yeah. We, this is gonna hurt. Ooh. Nope. Sorry. Thought I saw, like, more... <laughs> I get him as a... I get him as a minion for a little while. Can I, can I get another one of those? It just said the whirring grows loud. No. It's probably not one of those that I can get... Uh, I can fight him again. That'd be hilarious. But this is where I spawned in. Oh, I see. That's how I get up there. I was like, there's there's a Healy drone up there, and I want it. Another one? Let's see. This is where I spawned in, yeah? There we go. Better with friends. 12 minions at a time. Doesn't really care about the quality of those minions or how long they're going to live. Spoilers, most of them are going to be quite dead. In fact, it, amusingly enough, the Solus probes are actually sticking around. I wonder if they, they don't have the uh, same shelf life that the boss does. If so, that's kind of great. This is an equipment drone. I don't know if I want to give up my BFG for that. Missile drone, though. Okay, so what do we got? I don't want to give up the BFG because it's my one of my best shots at, at getting a boss. Uh, let's see. There, You know what? There is this over here. I might be able to pop this open for something pretty good. Assuming it doesn't go sailing off into the sunset. Worth a shot? What is it? Uh, Royal Capacitor. Sure. Let's go trade this in for another equipment drone. I've already got the achievement. I don't Need, necessarily need another one, but you know what? I might as well. Oop. Have fun. Hopefully you actually do something, unlike your other friend. Because, yeah, the, the scan drone that I grabbed, uh, the, the equipment drone that I give the scanning tool to, Nothing. Hasn't scanned Bupkis, I think. See, they fixed it, and now items stop falling into oblivion. Oh, that's nice. Because, yeah, this looked kind of risky when I was approaching it. I was like, hmm, it might just pop out of there and just go away. Oh, they didn't fix it. Well. Okay, I don't think I see anything else useful here. Oh, they can get screwed if they get stuck on a ledge. There's only so much you can kind of do about that. Let's see. Well, I see a couple other items on here. Getting up to that, uh... Getting up to the teleporter eh, might not be so bad. And what legendary do I get? I get... Temporarily steal the power of slain elites, which I'm pretty sure got fixed. I don't care about a lunar pod. I'm gonna keep busting that thing's eggs. Oh, it's the eggs of all the vultures in the area. That makes total sense, actually. So, it's a friend of vultures. It's not its eggs. It's the eggs of the vultures that it is friends with. Ooh. Have I seen that flower before? I haven't. 
Left and Daisy, release a healing nova during the teleporter event. That's kind of nice. Not really useful now, but useful for other characters. Useful for characters that aren't so totally decked out in uh, bustling fungus that they are virtually untouchable. Okay, well, let's go check out what's in here. One flower does a heal Nova every 40 seconds. That's okay. Still would be useful, especially for, like, group fights. Uh, especially if, you know, you have multiple or your allies have multiple. Okay, so what do we got down in here? Turrets. Turrets. Kind of a lot of nothing. Probably a lot of eggs. And another ramp out of here. Well... I mean, works. More healing drones. When in doubt, just keep getting more friends. They'll all die soon enough anyway. Okay, so we're we're just gonna we're just gonna go up. Uh, getting there might be a bit of a trial, especially without a hapu feather. Take me away. Is that? Hmm. Okay, that is the teleporter over there. I was like, is it? Is it that one, or is it higher than this? Because if it's higher than this, I need. I'm worried. Is that over there? Attack chest? Looks like an attack chest. I'm gonna get my... Turrets nice and safe. Hopefully those landmines will do some horrors. Unfortunately, gotta kinda luck out where the, uh, the boss is. Okay, this is actually very risky. I was expecting one boss, not that shit. Ugh. Could've gone bad, okay. Let's go plonk up up here. We're pretty much safe at this point. I don't think we need to worry about too much. But yeah, Lemurians was not what I was expecting when I hit that teleporter. Expects the Lemurian Inquisition. I honestly was assuming that they'd probably have gotten rid of them at some point, but I guess not. Oh, there's like one item over there. Eh, don't care. Let's see. So is a loader run coming up next? Yeah. I've just got to, um... Ideally, I'd like to delete a boss in five seconds. So we're going to keep going for just a little bit longer before we, uh... I don't know, obliterate this character. I don't know if we're going to obliterate him or if I'll just quit the run. Is quitting the run even... Is that even a good idea? I have no idea. I mean, I'm assuming I could just get killed. Stand there? Question mark? We... Die for me and give me enough money to afford the goodies. This is not enough. Give me more! And I get a teddy.
Uh, let's see. So we do have the teleporter right there. I'm going to try and get a couple of things beforehand. Mainly my next charge of the uh, the BFGs. And maybe more drones? Not that there's really much of a benefit to getting more drones, but funny? I'm just going to leave... Uh, spread those out a little bit. Zoom. Those red whips are nice. Not much out here. It's another Healy drone. Yeah, just another Healy drone. Well, at least we're zooming at this point. Means less time wasted. Okay. Get another Healy thing. No. Sorry. We we could have gotten another one of those like topaz thingamadoos for the extra shields, but like that's silly. Why would I do that? Can't touch me. I'm the gingerbread monster. Okay, let's put these down. I guess we can only have one. My shield's up. Okay, he got a little too close to my personal space for my own comfort. Probably didn't need to go for the 93% on that one, but that's okay. I'm fine. Let's see, some of those are really prone to RNG. Mercenary never losing HP on a prismatic trial. That just sounds like bullshit. <laughs> Luckily, I don't really main Merc, so it's not super bad news if I can't get it. Is there, like, no treasure chests on this entire map? Man, this is dismal. Tougher times actually sunk that. 25% more damage to bosses printer. There was. I could have gone for that. I'm mixed feelings on it. I guess I should do it at least once. No, you know what? Maybe I should go all in. How much do those stack? Anybody know? Because I don't really have a whole lot of white items that I even... Oh, uh, except for my bustling fungus. But yeah, it, it, you are you are right. This is a, This is a good idea. If I go, if I hit five bustling fungus, I'm stopping though. Cause yeah, what else do I have? Nothing that I'm terribly passionate about. Okay, we gotta stop though. I don't wanna go too far below on my bustling funguses. And that's like 11. That should hopefully be like a massive damage bonus against bosses. Let's hope, let's hope we don't get screwed with some kind of uh, shitty spawn like more Lemurians. Did that count? Did that not count? Or did that not count because I've got the happiest mask? Hmm. 
Longer than five seconds? Really? Ugh. Well, whatever. We'll get it on the next one, maybe. Yeah, I think my turrets were just shooting at other things. Because I think they were... I think they were pissed off at, like, a nearby wisp or something. Yeah, maybe the BFG takes too long. Unfortunately, the BFG is way more damage than my regular attack, I think. There are two titans. Were there? I only saw one. We need to point blank with it. Yeah, no, that's a good point. At, at least when I'm charging the BFG up, I should just bum rush the boss. And yeah, I could try starting the BFG earlier. It's just the boss spawns in kind of random locations. If they spawned directly on top of the uh, teleporter, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Wow, I am a horror. <laughs> I look like the mask salesman from... Um... I, I look like the mask salesman from Zelda. Like, just the amount of shit just stacked on my back. And also my creepy face. I mean, look at this. I am happy to be here. Nothing else is happy to have me here. But I'm happy to be here. There we go. Uh, let's see, how much money? We have enough. And more armor piercing rounds, just like the game knows. But do I only get one turret? Here? Oh, because the other one I put in dumb places. Rattle. So be it. I do wish the armor-piercing rounds worked against these guys, too. I would ask that you desist and decease. There we go. How much money was he worth? A lot, actually. Good. We needed that money. Yeah, those titans stand up too slow. It it really should be seven seconds from the moment they become, uh, like, targetable. Uh, let's see. I'd rather have the attack speed. I'm not actually sure which is better, crit, crit or attack speed. For the initial pass. Because if the attack speed is over 10%, then I think that's worth it. Yeah, five seconds from the first time you damage them or something like that. Yeah, because if you have to wait for like a lengthy boss appearing uh, timer, that makes it kind of tough. Oh well. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. The easier with the vagrants since they just pop in. Yep. I just gotta wait for a vagrant to show up as a boss. And shape glass would help a lot. Yep, next time we see shape glass, I'm I'm going for it. Oh, that's that's one of the weird Malachite enemies. Okay, then. This guy is new. Better go for crit than attack speed. Is it? Like, I'm just talking on the initial initial upgrade. Like, overall, yeah, you want to get 10, 10 crit and then go attack speed. Uh, let's go movement speed here. But, which provides... Because 10% crit is de facto 10% uh, DPS increase? Oh. Crit is 30% uh, damage. 
I don't know. It's been a while since I've done DPS math. After fit, after Wrath of the Lich King, I pretty much swore, swore off trying to think of that kind of thing. It was not healthy how much I, like, analyzed that game to see, like, how much can I min-max? You know, how, how much can I can I turn Death Knights into a super viable uh, raid, raid spec? Because I kept changing them constantly, so I had to keep uh, switching it. And then eventually, while, uh, eventually I just got super burnt out and I was like, alright, I give up. This is for other people now. Okay. So where is that teleporter? We're actually right next to it. I'm dumb. Got it. Yeah, I just had to not be far away from it. Problem solved. And we get a wisp. Cool. So, question. Can I... I, I'm just going to throw this run at this point because I want to try the loader. I don't want this run to go for the next, like, hour. Um, and also, I'd like to see what the new skills do and so on and so forth. Uh, so why don't we... Can I just quit? Or do I have to do I have to die to get it to save? Because currently, dying would be kind of hard. Stage 7 is obliter obliterate yourself. Oh, well, that's convenient. You've yet to see the mines in action. They're good. The problem is you have to wait, like, several seconds for them to arm. Uh, and most enemies are too mobile for that. So that's an armed mine. This is a regular mine. They arm when they get the little light coming off of them, and they do a lot more damage, but... Okay, well, I guess I'll just immediately beeline for the portal on the next next world. Mines can be attached to enemies, though. Uh, can they? I just assumed they'd immediately blow up. Yeah, not anymore, actually. Yeah, I thought so. I was like, I haven't seen them do that. Okay. So where's this teleporter? There's the teleporter. We're just going straight for it. I could get upgrades, but if I'm going to go boom, then I might as well just go boom. Admittedly, if we've got a magma worm, I probably shouldn't stand still. Well, I missed with that BFG. Oh, they can't do enough damage to me. They can try. But I'm actually just too damn healthy. Their main, the main danger. Hey, 15 bosses in a single run. Blockade breaker. I guess it's a good thing I didn't just get, uh, didn't just quit. Well, I'm just going to stand here. I almost wish there was an alternate. Uh, what is it called? In. TF2, there was a uh, there was a gun. It was a sidearm that effectively just gave you a remote control that let you control which direction your turret is firing, with like a slight damage boost. I have no idea what it was called, but I actually almost wish you could do that or like hop on the back of a turret. Yeah, the Wrangler. There we go. Like I kind of wish there was a Wrangler version where you could like hop on on the back of one of these turrets. You know, buffs up the damage a little bit. Um, or maybe it just makes it so the turret fires rockets. Now, is it the Celestial Portal? Yeah, it is. Also provides some damage resistance to the turret. Cool. 
But yeah, it would be kind of fun if there was some kind of either like hop on back of turret or wrangle turret button for this game. Just as a, I would very much like to, I would very much like to use my turrets instead of my regular attack because my regular attack is bupkis. I don't think I was sprinting for that. Oh, okay. Never know where the triggers are, because I usually have insane jumps by this point. Still got pretty beefy jumps, but they're not quite beefy. Beefy. See the new turrets, I think you'll like more. Yep, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, I'm Blade Air HO Self from Existence. I don't remember, does this give you celestial tokens? Are you sure? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so loadout. So what do we have? Spider mines. I like that a lot. Carbonizer turret. Mobile turret that inherits all of your items. Fires a laser for 200% of your damage per second and slows enemies. Can place up to two. Oh. They're mobile. Okay. I'm just... We're not going to use it. We're going to have to get used to not using fungi. Excuse me, I can just not move. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway. Come, my pets. And yeah, I like the spider mines. They seem kind of fun. Okay, so yeah, fungus, not super, uh, not super useful with this setup, but that's okay. That looks fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing an engineer run. That said, I think I'm going to try and unlock most of these, uh, new ones if I can. Some of them are going to be harder than others. Mercenary, don't touch the ground for 30 seconds. Prismatic trial without falling below 100% health. That sounds like it's going to suck. And Mercenary Mastery. Obliterate yourself. Yeah. Well, I'll work on the rest of these later. Uh, let's see. Loader. Reach and proceed through the Celestial Portal in 25 minutes or less. Oh, boy. You're going to have to go fast for that. Okay, so... Knuckle Boom. Swing at nearby enemies to 320% damage. Fire your gauntlet forward, pulling you towards the target. Charge up a massive punch for 600 to 2,700% damage. Sends you flying forward. Deals significantly more damage the faster you're moving. And throws a floating pylon that zaps up to six nearby enemies for 100% damage. Can be grappled. So, this is the loader from the previous one, just changed slightly. Cool. 